Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you a few different ways to change your IP address, ranging from the best and most efficient ways down to the more manual ways, but nonetheless still effective. These methods of changing your IP address come from a really cool Amazon Kindle ebook called How to Beat an eBay Suspension, which teaches you how to make as many different eBay stealth accounts as you want, while one of the steps in doing so is hiding your IP address. Now, on to changing your IP address. The first method I will mention is the best and most secure way to do so, especially for creating eBay stealth accounts, and it is by using a virtual private network. Also known as a VPN, a virtual private network allows you to use thousands of different IP addresses while you are on the internet. The locations of these IP addresses are registered to hundreds of different countries all around the world, and you get to pick which IP address you want to log in with. Whether it be one in India, Germany, England, or the United States, you get to choose wherever you want to log in from. Another plus is that you can switch from one IP address to another at any time at the click of a button. VPNs do have a monthly fee, but the one I use, which is in the link below in the description box, is only $6 a month and is well worth it, being that I have so many IPs that I can choose from and at any time. Um, this is my number one pick uh, for virtual private networks. There's a ton of them out there, um, but this is my priority as well as my first choice for all the methods in this video. The second method is using a T-Mobile hotspot. The T-Mobile hotspot is a wireless device that you carry around on you uh, that you use to establish an internet connection anywhere you want to. Every time you log on to the internet with it, your IP address will change. The device itself costs around $50. You can get it at Best Buy and Target, stuff like that. Uh, and there's also a monthly fee starting around $10. The third method is unplugging your router, waiting three to five minutes, and then plugging it back in. For most people, this will switch your IP address once you connect to the internet again. Uh, make sure to unplug the power cord and the ethernet cable, not just one or the other. This is more of a hit or miss type of way to change your IP address, but it has been proven to work for me in a couple instances. The fourth method is asking a neighbor to use their Wi-Fi, which would mean that you will use their IP address instead of yours. Some people aren't exactly uh, people friendly, but it doesn't take much to simply ask a favor of someone who lives next to you. You will be surprised at how many of my neighbors actually let me do it. The fifth and final method is to use a dial-up connection. Disconnect your Wi-Fi, use a dial-up connection. It may be terribly slow, but every time you log on to the internet, your IP address will change. Uh, it is a last resort method, but nonetheless, it still works. I highly recommend using virtual private networks over all these methods, being as their, database, their databases are encrypted, which means there's no risk of someone finding out where you are or who you are and the fact that you can use thousands of IP addresses at the click of a button. There are a few other ways to hide, your, hide or change your IP address, but these are the only methods that I have used personally that work. To check out the virtual private network that I use and how it works, click on the link below. I hope I can help you guys, and um, if you have any questions, just like the video and subscribe to my channel, and I'll be glad to help you. All right, everybody, God bless.